Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Jerry Poppy from Jackson, Jackson County Vector Control. Uh, Jerry, we're talking a lot about West Nile this week. More than 40 deaths nationally, 1,100 plus people sick. What are we seeing here in Jackson County? Well, we've come up with one positive mosquito pool so far uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, we've aerosoled that area. It's down in the Talon area along the bike path there. And uh, we've aerosoled that area several times. We've retrapped, retested. So far, no more positives. So that's a real good thing. That is a good thing. Should people be concerned about West Island? Clearly, it's, it's claiming lives nationally, but not so in Oregon. Right. You just never know. It, it could get worse. We could start getting a lot more positives. They say the disease actually shows up late in the summer and into early fall. Mm -hmm. So this is the time. Uh, it's the hotter temperatures really bring it on strong. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is good to take precautions. You know, if you're going to be outside and you're noticing mosquitoes, uh, either go back in or put some long sleeves on or repellents mm -hmm. of some mm -hmm. sort. Okay, all right, now and I, it hasn't claimed any human lives here in Oregon, but it, it did no. claim the life of a horse in Keno, of course not your area, your Jackson County, uh, but there is a vaccine for horses, is that right? There is, uh, and I really recommend people take care of their horses because uh, it's a shame to lose a horse, of course, it's a, really a nasty thing to see a horse die from that. Mm -hmm. Now, as I understand these mosquitoes, they breed in standing water. Uh, what do you tell people to do with standing water and what should people do? If at all possible, if you can dump out the water, uh, if you can't dump it out, you can give us a call and we can check it out for you and, and treat it as needed. Uh, but if you, if you just have a bucket with water and wigglers in there, dump it out, it's going to kill them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, with, with West Nile, I mean, we're hearing a lot about it in the news. You know, we're all putting it out there, us news outlets. Uh, is, it, is it fatal if you're bit by a mosquito carrying West Nile? It can be. Uh, yeah, there, there's people dying down in Texas right now, so right. very well. But, can. but the, the symptoms, uh, I mean, 80% of people show symptoms, correct? Or how many show, how, what is the mortality symptoms, rate for humans? actually? Yeah. 80% don't show symptoms. Uh, the mortality rate is pretty low. It's a very yeah. low percentage. But the people that do get it, it's, it's very serious. Mm -hmm. uh, it's devastating. Sure, of course. Uh, who is the most at risk? Uh, elderly, actually they say people over 50, so that puts me in that category too, and uh, people with uh, compromised immune systems and uh, the very young. Okay, all right, well we're doing great, thank you, appreciate you coming in. We're going to take a quick break, much more with Jerry in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Jerry Poppy from Jackson County Vector Control. Jerry, how do you guys test for West Nile virus? Well, we're able to test in our lab. We test 50 mosquitoes at a time. If we come up with a positive for West Nile virus, we send it to OSU for confirmation. Mm -hmm. And do you, you set up traps, correct, around the county? How does that work? We try to set up traps in the area where we have high populations of mosquito as well as migrating birds present because the migrating birds is what's bringing in the virus. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and I understand there are, you know, if I were to have a pond, per se, in, in my backyard. Uh, what do you recommend people uh, do with standing water that they, you know, not a bucket they can just tip over? Right, uh, well, if it's an ornamental pond that doesn't run into a creek and run into the Rogue River, we recommend putting mosquito fish in there. Um, the Fish and Wildlife doesn't want mosquito fish planted in ponds that run, you know, that run sure. into streams and stuff, of course, because yeah. of the native fish. Okay, and we, we talked a little bit about, about the heat that we've seen uh, this summer. Not necessarily so much here in Southern <coughs> Oregon, obviously, this month we've been getting some heat, but nationally, uh, is, is that perhaps why we're seeing these numbers of West Nile up? I'm thinking, yeah, the, we've had record heat in those parts of the country where we're having the record numbers of mosquitoes now, and uh, when we got our positive, it was a week before we had the triple digits. So mm -hmm. it, the heat definitely is a factor there. Yeah. The mosquitoes are able to breed a lot faster when the water's warmer and the air's warmer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe a week compared to two weeks normally. Yeah, and, and I think you said that the virus is originally from Uganda, correct? They found it in Uganda back in the 1930s, and Uganda is on the equator, so it mm -hmm. is a tropical disease. Mm -hmm. um, and if global warming becomes a reality, we could see more tropical diseases moving northward, like dengue fever and malaria. Mm, okay. All right. And uh, again, I, I want to you know let people know what should they do if, if they're you know dawn and dusk is are the worst times to be out, correct? Yeah, dusk and dawn are the worst times for mosquitoes. Uh, now that the nights are getting colder, things should start slowing down for us, good. which is really good. I know in Klamath County, they had a frost advisory last night. If they get a frost, that's going to make their season screech to a halt, which will be Very good, good for them. Uh, but the cases could still show up. There could be infections out there that might not show up for a while. So you just never know. All right, Jerry, great to meet you. Thanks so much for coming in. Hey, thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.